If you're looking for the best bass amp combo, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Fender Rumble 500 V3. Fender's Rumble series is probably one of the most. It boasts an amp with 500W of solid state power driving two 10 eminent speakers and a high frequency tweeter. When looking over the control layout, you'll see just how versatile this amp claims to be. There's a foot switchable overdrive circuit that lets you dial in anything from a light and creamy overdrive up to a heavily distorted tone. The preamp also features a four band EQ with a cut slash boost function for bass, low mid, high mid, and treble, plus three voicing push buttons, bright, treble boost, counter, mid scoop, and vintage dynamic compression plus low pass filter. The Rumble 500 delivers a very natural sound with a well-defined low end and a punchy mid-range, while the compression tweeter provides a crystal clear high end. If the Rumble 500 is too big for your needs, check out the rest of Fender's Rumble series. They've got a combo for every occasion. This is a powerful and flexible bass combo with a reasonable price tag. It does a great job with any style of music, and with an added external cabinet, it can serve as your backline for any venue size. If you are looking for a powerful bass combo that can be used on stage as well as for band practice, the Rumble 500 is one of the best options out there. I cannot recommend this amp enough. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Ampeg BA210 V2. Ampeg has recently redesigned their BA Bass Amp range of bass combos and the BA210 is the top dog among them. The BA210 features a 450W solid state amp. Driving two 10 Ampeg design loudspeakers housed in a reasonably light and easy to carry enclosure weighing in at 48. The amp features a three band shelving EQ with boost and cut function, a master volume control, as well as Ampeg scrambler circuit with its drive and blend control knobs. The scrambler section of the preamp lets you dial in a wide range of overdrive sounds, from subtle, tube like warmth up to heavily distorted sounds, making the BA a very versatile amp. The classic Ampeg Ultra High, boosts high end and ultra low, boosts lows and cuts mid switches, give you even more tonal variety. The aux input lets you jam to your preferred backing tracks, while the headphone output enables silent practicing. You can also engage the scrambler section by connecting an external foot switch. This gives you access to two distinct sounds with a simple tap. The BA210 is equipped with a very clean sounding tie and an effects loop. If the one high frequency driver is too modern sounding for your taste, you can turn it off with the HF mute switch found on the front panel. All in all, it's a great sounding amp with a ton of vintage as well as modern sounds on offer. If the BA210 is too big for your needs, check out the rest of the BA line. The key difference between them being the speaker size and power rating, the massive Ampeg tone is still there with all of them. If you want the sound of a classic Ampeg rig but don't want to carry one around, Take a look at the BA combo line, it won't disappoint. I would say that this is the best bass combo amp under $500. The number three position is held by Mark Bass Micro Mark 801. Mark Bass are known for making high quality, portable bass amps and combos that deliver boutique great tone. The Micro Mark 801 is built to the same high standards as all Mark Bass gear and features a 60W amp with a simplistic control scheme that drives a single eight speaker. It has only two control knobs, a level knob sets the overall output volume and the VPF. Variable per shape filter knob, found on most of Mark Bass Amp's boost lows and highs while cutting mids as you turn it up for a mid scoop bass sound, ideal for rock or slap bass. When you first plug in your bass, you'll be amazed how cleanly it reproduces the sound of your instrument, and it even sounds great with double bass and five and six string basses, as it lacks a standard EQ. Most of the tone shaping will either be handled by the VPF control or by using the active electronics in your bass. But I can say that I've never missed the EQ because of how well this little bass sounds. The die sounds clean and transparent, making it a good home recording tool. This is a little beast of a bass combo. It offers top-notch build and sound quality in a compact package that weighs just under 15. If you are not constrained by a fixed budget and want only what's best, Take like a look at the Micromark 801. 
Next at number 4 we have Ibanez Promethean P3110. The Promethean line of base combos has been around for a few years now, without gaining widespread popularity, but these are very fine amps, without a doubt. They are built to good quality standards with an emphasis on portability. The P3110 outputs 300W of power at 4 ohms with an external cab and has a 10 speaker with a coaxial dome tweeter to produce a high quality full range sound. The amp features a gain control with a clip LED that lets you set the input of the preamp so that your signal is distortion free. A master control knob for the overall output volume. A 3 band EQ with boost flash cut function for low, mid and high plus a fat control that boosts the lows and highs while cutting the mids for a scoop sound as you turn it clockwise. There's also a built-in peak limiter, activated with the push of a button on the faceplate, that limits your signal when a set threshold is reached, preventing the power amp from clipping. The P3110 also has an one 8 aux input, enabling you to play along to your favorite backing tracks, and the one 8 headphone output lets you practice in silence, bypassing the internal speaker. The XLR diode has a ground lift switch and a 20B pad for hotter signals. It sounds transparent, as it should. The sounds coming from this little combo are very clean and well balanced with minimal coloring of your fundamental bass tone. The P3110 is a little powerhouse designed for full range clean sounds that only weighs 23 OP. With its capabilities, at this price point, you won't find anything better. The number 5 position is held by Hark HD500. Hark's reputation has soared in recent years, on one hand, due to the quality of gear they produce, and on the other. Due to the star endorsers, they managed to get on board, Victor Wu and Jack Bruce, to name just two. The HD500 is one of their more recent designs. It sports a 500W amp that delivers its Class D power to two of their 10 signature high drive speakers. The control layout is very simple and intuitive to use, and it features a master volume, Hark's proprietary shape control, that lets you cut 20B from the selected frequency, and a 3-band EQ with bass, mid, and treble knobs. The HD500 is an ideal companion for the lovers of slap bass. The high-drive aluminum slash paper cone speakers offer a perfect mix of high-end attack and low-end growl. The shape section makes cutting out undesired frequencies a breeze, and the EQ is versatile and clean. If you're in the market for a straightforward performer that's easy to use, easy to carry, and won't break the bank, take a look at the Hark HD500. The number 6 position is dominated by PVMAX300. The PVMAX300 is the most powerful combo of the MAX series, and it comes packed with tone shaping options and useful features. At the heart of the MAX300 is a 300W solid state amp, driving two 10 speakers. The amp features a foot switchable overdrive circuit, a three band EQ, a built in tuner, and four voicing push buttons. Contour creates a mid scoop sound. Mid shift selects the center frequency for the middle control knob, bright provides a treble boost, and Cosmos C generates harmonics in the bottom octave, enhancing the lows. The MAX300 produces a tight and full bass tone, enhancing the fundamental tone of your instrument. The EQ is well voiced with 15B of cut or boost at 50HC and 6HC for bass and treble, while the mids are shiftable between 250HC and 600HC. The overdrive is easy to set up using the gain and volume controls, making very good use of the tube emulation circuitry. It sounds warm and tight without neglecting the tonal character of your bass. This is a great bass combo at a reasonable price. It's not the most portable unit, but it makes up for its lack of portability with great features and killer sounds. Whether you're looking for the best bass combo amp for small gigs or just something for general use, this is a great choice. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Orange Crush Bass 100. Orange's Crush Bass 100 combo is a medium-powered 100W solid-state amp driving a 15 speaker. It has a powerful EQ section and some pro features that make it well-suited for use on stage or studio work. The bass and middle controls offer plus slash 15 dB of cut or boost while the treble knob provides 20B of cut or boost. The midrange has a sweepable center frequency from 300HC to 2.7KHC giving you precise control over a wide range of the frequency spectrum. The gain control lets you add overdrive sounds to your tone while blend enables you to mix your clean and distorted signals to your liking. The Crush Bass 100 is a built-in tuner and in XLR die output 
as well as an aux input and headphone output, giving you the option of using it as a practice amp in your home. For a 100W combo, the Crush Bass 100 is really loud, and due to its sweepable midrange, it's surprisingly versatile. The 15 speaker delivers thick and powerful lows, the midrange is clear and punchy, and the high end is bright and well defined. If you are looking for a combo with an emphasis on vintage looks and vintage bass tones, give the Crush Bass 100 a listen, it might surprise you. This is one of the best combo bass amps out there. The number 8 position is held by Galleon Kruger MB210 Roman II. The MB210 from Galleon Kruger is a powerful and versatile, high quality bass combo packed full of useful features. It delivers 350W into its 210 internal speakers, 8 ohm, and 500W with an added external 8 ohm cabinet. The MB210 has an active 4 band EQ with boost slash cut function for bass, plus slash 10B at 60HC. Low mid, plus 6 slash 10B at 250 HC. High mid, plus 6 slash 1 dB at 1 kg. And treble, plus slash 14 B at 7 kg. The Condor switch gets you a mid scoop sound with enhanced bass and treble. The boost control knob adds a post EQ gain stage for extra growl as you turn it clockwise. There's also a built-in limiter, activated with the push of a button, that smooths out the peaks in your dynamics. After playing a few notes, you realize how clean and clear this combo sounds. The lows are tight and well-defined, the mid-range is percussive and strong, while the high end never sounds harsh or tinny. It's one of the cleanest combos on the market. If you are in the market for a high-quality, lightweight bass combo and are not constrained by a budget, give the MB210 Roman II a try. You'll have a hard time passing it up. Next at number 9, we have VOX Pathfinder 10 Bass Combo. The Vox Pathfinder 10 Bass is a little mini-amp designed for practicing and jamming at lower volumes. It features a 10W solid-state amp, driving two 5 speakers. It has a very simple control layout. Drive lets you add overdrive to your clean signal. The bright switch gives you a treble boost. The 2-band EQ lets you cut or boost bass and treble, and the volume knob controls your output level. Plugging into the Pathfinder, you'll get a nice and warm sound, but turning up the gain and volume knobs will quickly result in rattling and speaker flutter. It sounds best with low drive settings and the volume not much past 12 o'clock, but for practicing at home, you wouldn't even need to go that far. If you are looking for a compact bass combo for your home that looks cool, has decent tones on offer, and doesn't put a toll on your finances, pick out the Pathfinder 10 bass. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Blackster Unity 500. The Unity 500 pairs a 500W solid state amp with two 10 eminence office drivers in a reasonably light but solid enclosure. The Unity 500 is probably the most feature packed combo on this list. Under the gain knob, you'll find a three way selector switch marked classic, modern, flat. It lets you select one of three different voicings for the preamp as well as the EQ behavior. The drive knob determines the amount of distortion you want to add to your clean signal. The type of distortion is selected with another three-way switch. You can choose between overdrive, distortion, and fuzz. The three-band EQ has a sweepable midrange. The frequency ranges, as well as the amount of boost or cut, differ according to the selected preamp voicing. The response selector determines how the power stage reacts to your dynamics, linear, emulating a 6L6 or 6552 power amp. Under the response selector, there's another three-way switch letting you choose an effect that you want to add to your tone off chorus. Octave, the effect levels are set on the rear panel using trim pots. The Unity 500 also has a built-in and one-knob compressor, which you can turn on or off, considering how many tweaking options you have. The Unity 500 is surprisingly easy to set up. Its fundamental tone provides large amounts of low-end, sparkling high-end, but is slightly lacking in the mid-range, easily corrected with the semi-parametric mid-controls. The three preamp voicings paired with the response selector's three settings offer a huge range of tonal versatility. By adding the drive effects plus chorus and the octave into the mix, you really get near-limitless possibilities. If you want big sound from a small package and don't shy away from reading the manual, the Unity 500 is definitely worth a good look. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.